Tiefe. We're here at CES 2015 at the BMW exhibit where they're showing us some of their newest technology. CES has become a really important show for the car makers because with so much of the development now in new cars all being electronics, virtually all of the car makers are here. BMW showed us the first gesture control that we've seen in a production car. It's still going to be about one to two years out, but it's pretty cool. You can raise the volume in the car by doing a circular motion with your finger. Another thing you can do with it is either accept or reject a phone call. It's going to enable people to be able to use these complex infotainment systems without taking their eyes off the road. Now we're in a BMW i3 equipped with the new 360 degree collision avoidance system. The way it works is it uses sensors in the front, sides, and rear of the car to detect objects around you while you're in a, a tight situation, like say you're parking the car. If you get too close, it's going to stop it by itself. Now if we get too close on the side, the car is going to break to a stop. And then once you steer away from the obstacle, you can then start to drive again. As you see on the screen, the system is sensing that there's something to our right, but it's green. So that indicates that it's OK. We're not going to hit it. As we get closer, however, it's going to switch to a yellow warning and then ultimately turn red and stop the car. This technology is also a ways off. We're probably not going to see this till around 2020. So BMW showed us their self-parking car which is called a BMW Active Assist. You just get out of the car, you press a button either on a smartwatch or on your smartphone, and the car goes off and finds itself a parking space in a multi-story parking garage. You don't even have to go along for the ride. It can navigate around things, it'll find an empty spot, it'll park, and then when you want to leave, when you get back, you press another button either on the watch or on your phone, and the car comes back and picks you up. Now the way it works is using laser scanners. It's got one mounted on the front of the car, one on each side, and one in the back. And those are getting a view of what is all around the car and telling it which way it needs to go. And this is another step in the road to the self-driving car. We won't see this technology, BMW says, till around 2020, but it's coming. For in-depth CES coverage and our complete ratings, check out more at consumerreports.org.